Did you know that self-awareness is an important step to personal development? I bet you didn't. So stick right, stick right to the end of the video. You know, sit back, relax, because today we're going to be discussing steps to personal development. So welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you for doing all the good stuff that you do. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting and doing all those beautiful stuff. I love you guys. So on today's episode, we'll be discussing steps to personal development. I repeat, steps to personal development. Now, if you've not watched the last episode, I discussed what it truly means for someone to personally develop. In essence, what I said is, what is personal development? Now, that, that was discussed in the last episode. It's going to be linked up here if you've not seen it. So on today's episode, steps to personal development. What exactly should one do to achieve personal development? personal growth as the case may be now self-awareness guys is important another word for self-awareness is knowing yourself knowing yourself now you would you wouldn't truly know what it means to know yourself or you wouldn't truly know what personal development means if you really do not know yourself if you really do not if you if you're truly not aware of yourself self-awareness is important guys now i read a book sometimes back called i'm um, discovering god's purpose to your life written by dr miles Monroe. now he had some important questions some really vital questions that i, I thought to bring to our notice in this episode now in this episode in this episode to knowing you you know to knowing the steps to take to personal development under self-awareness i'll be bringing forth five questions that i feel like every person every individual living on planet earth should answer should sincerely should sincerely answer them or should sincerely ask themselves and they should give themselves some true answers you know my mentor would say to thyself be true to thyself be true and it's just honest because if you do not if you do not answer these questions personally and if you don't if you do not answer them sincerely who are you really deceiving nobody right so jumping right to the questions the first question is who am i hmm. the first question i repeat is who am i you know if you if you we feel like we've heard these questions a lot of times if i ask you who you are you're probably going to tell me oh i'm this i'm that my name is this my name is that i do this i do that i i belong to this particular family or belong to this particular group that is beautiful you know that is great that is brilliant now the question of who am i answers the question of identity now you really need to know who you truly are you know you need to know who, who it is heat that is you i don't know if that makes sense to you now let me let me create a practical analogy if, you meet, if you're meeting me for the first time and you ask me who i am i'm i'm definitely going to give you a rundown of who i think or who i perceive myself to be now there's the perceived self there's the known self and there's the unknown self of, of every individual the perceived senses the perceived um, um self rather is what you think you are what people think you are you know the known part is what everybody knows about you what the general know about you what you yourself know about you and the unknown part of you is the part that nobody knows not even you to an extent would know you know over time it would unfold now the question of who am i is important in now sincerely time. answering the question who am i would you know would if not if not um solve all the problem but to a large extent reduce a lot of our worries you know reduce a lot of our perceptions about life and about you know how things navigate around us now the second question i would like to bring forward is where am i from where am i from now this question you know strikes towards heritage you know it's good that you know who you are it's good that you can answer that question sincerely it's good that you you've, you've been able to identify who is it that you are now moving on where am i from who are my families you know what is my background like what is my sources like you know if you really know where you're from you would know that there are some opportunities you can leverage on you would know that there are some things you can you know there are some places you know you can boycott not necessarily you know going through the um, not necessarily going through the long route 
now if you know where you are if you know what your every stage stands for if you know what your background is like there are some things that you can leverage on some opportunities you can leverage on that would you know name generally opens door to a lot of people now not to say that if you're not from a strong heritage or you're not from a strong background that you can't still move on no that's that's that would be you know unfair to say but i'm just saying that it would help you navigate your way around it would now the third question channel i would like you to ask you. yourself is now, why am i here why am i here now this question tackles the angle of purpose you know he answered the he answers the question of purpose it is said that if the purpose of a thing is unknown you know abuse is inevitable and that is true i i would not agree less to that saying you know if you do not really know why you're here if you do not know what you stand for if you do not know what your background is if you do not know the opportunities you can leverage on you know a lot of things will be missing there will be a lot of missing lines so if you really know the reason why you're here the reason why you were created you know the questions you are you are being sent here to answer you know that's a good thing that's a good step to personal development that's a good step to you know knowing yourself now the fourth question i would like you to ask, ask yourself is what can i do you know it's brilliant that you can answer the question of destiny it's brilliant that you can answer the question of heritage it's brilliant that you can answer the question of purpose but what exactly can you do what can you offer what are you bringing to the table you know what are the skills you have what are the skills you can acquire you know what are the potentials in you known and unknown you know the Indian potential in you what is it that people around you can learn from you and you know about you what is it that if you're gone after a very long time or you know if you're dead what legacies would you be known for you know what can you do exactly what can you offer it's it's beautiful that you know you're aspiring to get to a certain level but if you get there what exactly can you offer it's brilliant that you want to work in google firm it's brilliant that you want to work with facebook it's brilliant that you want to be an entrepreneur but what exactly can you do you know what can you bring to the table now the fifth question i would like you to ask yourself is where am i going where am i going now this question answers the question of destiny you know <laughs> there is a saying that says that if you do not know if you don't know where you're going at least know where you're coming from now i'm bringing i'm bringing a correlation between the question of heritage and the question of destiny now where exactly in life are you going what is your motivation what is driving you what is your driving force you know it's brilliant that you know you know where you are or you know where where it's brilliant that you know why you are here excuse that please it's brilliant that you know why you're here but where exactly is it you're headed where exactly what seekest thou you know what are you seeking in life what is your motivation what is it that you're looking for exactly you know where are you going what life are you trying to touch what plan are you trying to achieve you know what step are you trying to take off these questions really really if we can sincerely answer this question you will see that a large chunk of you know a large chunk of the step taken towards personal development would be answered now a quick re recap on the five questions i listed or the five questions i talked about now number one is who am i which answers the question of destiny the second is what where am i from you know you answer this question of heritage where am i from it answers the question of heritage the third question is why am i here this answers the, the question of purpose you know why are you created why did god create you why are you on this planet why are you not in pluto why are you not in mass why is it that you are on earth you're on the planet earth now the third question is what can i do which answers the question of potential you know what are you bringing to the table what is this that you should be known for now the fifth question like i've, I've said earlier on is where am i going which answers the question of destiny now i said we have I said there is a, there, there are a series of steps to take to personal development. Now, do not forget that the reasons why we have highlighted these five questions is under is a sublet on under self awareness, which also means means knowing yourself. Now, the second step to personal development is learning from others. Guys, I cannot stress the fact i cannot overemphasize the fact that you need to learn from others it's beautiful if you have the luxury of you know getting a mentor but 
people do not really understand that you don't necessarily need somebody to walk you through the works of life you can learn from others by reading you can learn from others you know by studying them and genuinely studying their life you know learning about their successes their weakness now there's something called SWAT in, in business it means strength weakness opportunity and, and and threat now if you really want to study an individual or if you really want to learn from a, from an individual if now now coming from an angle that you don't have a mentor like a personal mentor to yourself you can do all these things online now learning according to the person's strengths then according to the person's weaknesses then according to the the opportunities that the person got and you know the threats from other from other competitors or you know environment and, and stuff like that or family background now if you learn in this order or if you study someone in this order you would find out that you really learn from that person now reading it is said that readers are leaders and you cannot you cannot be on a personal development journey or on a journey to you know becoming a better version of yourself and not enjoy reading now you don't necessarily have to read ad copies like i've said in the first episode you can read audio listen to audio books rather listen to audio books go for seminars you know never get tired of of learning of developing personally now the third step i would say which is really vital is take this step guys Take the step, take the action. Now, I really like the quote or the um, the motto of Nike, Nike Company. It says, "Just do it, guys," and it's really apt. It's really necessary. You know, if we, if you've known who you are, if you know what self awareness is, you've learned from others. What is the next thing for you to take, or the next step for you to take? Is taking the step really is putting in the action, putting in the work. You know. I know that self doubts would would arise you know you might necessarily want to seek validation from other people which shouldn't really be a barrier but take this step guys you would find out that most of these things you know them but where the problem lies or where you know it seems like there is a there's an injuring block or a stopping block is you not taking the action what use would it be that you know yourself what use would it be that you are aware of yourself what use would it be that you've learned from others if you're not really implementing these things guys implementation is key implementation of things you've learned you know is very is very germane <laughs> let me use that word it's very germane it's very key it's very crucial guys you cannot know all these things or you cannot have this bag of knowledge and then not put them to use what exactly are we learning from or what are, exactly are we learning for you know i would encourage you that if after learning if after you know growing if after doing all these things that you really put these things to action failure is is not is not failure shouldn't be an interim block you know self-doubt shouldn't be an interim block you not knowing if you would succeed in a particular thing shouldn't be an interim block you wouldn't really know all these things if you've not taken the actions so guys i'm begging and I'm imploring you that you do do and you do <laughs> You know take the action take the step go out there do what you've proposed to do you know it is not what's the worst that would happen you know ask yourself that question what's the worst that would happen if i don't do this thing and what's the worst that would happen if i do this thing you know if you can answer those two questions sincerely and you know sincerely and you know importantly you would see that there is really nothing stopping you aside from yourself the only stopping block that you have is yourself the only thing stopping you from your next from your next step or from or from graduating from the, the current level that you are is yourself guys so i hope that you've learned and i hope that you know this this episode has really shed more light has really made you understand the steps really there are a lot of steps but i'm just bringing them into a nutshell that you know self-awareness is important learning from other people is important and then taking the step taking the action taking you know that that thing you really need to do taking the action is really necessary now guys the question of the day is what is stopping you from achieving your goal is it lack of courage please leave your comments in the in the comment section leave your questions in the comment section so i would know how to help you and know how to help you navigate your way around we've come to the end of this particular episode guys i hope to see you guys around i hope to see you guys in the next episode please stick around subscribe to my channel if you haven't 
share my content if you haven't you know like comment i would love to really get feedback from you as that is very important and that's very necessary also for me on this journey of personal development i love you guys god loves you guys see you in the next video